We installed Visual Studio Code for Linux. We installed the C and C++ support. And we also configured Visual Studio to make use of the CSH shell. Let's now finish it with the Fortran support. Go to Extensions, search for Fortran. Modern Fortran, install. Fortran IntelliSense, install. And Fortran Breakpoint support, install. We've now six extensions installed. Free for Fortran, the C, C++ IntelliSense, the Makefile extension and Code Runner. Let's go to the Explorer, open folder, and create a new empty directory called project and open it. To generate the make file, go to the command palette and make init project. We see no support for Fortran, but simply use the C++ project and then edit the make file. We need to set the compiler to gfortran. We need an option, cpp, needs to be gfortran minus cpp. And the reason for that is that the dependencies of Fortran are a bit more complex. So what is using is the cpp over here. And we need to explicitly set that to gfortran minus cpp. The cxx flex, let's remove the C++ part and add a few options like add debug information, no optimization and additional warnings. The last change is that extensions is F90. Save. Let's go to source, new, main.f90, and let's create a very small Fortran program. Let's do print hello world. And let's also print out the variables A and B. We laid the groundwork already via code runner. So the only thing which we need to do is just simply click on the play button. And it will compile exactly as we specified CD into the directory and use the make file. So this workflow now works for C, C++ and Fortran. The only thing is that for Fortran you need to edit the make file. Lastly, let's test the debugger. Debug, run and debug, Fortran GDB. And what we need to set is only the program name. Everything else is already correct. My app. Let's go back to the Explorer, main, set a breakpoint, debug and run it. We now stop at the breakpoint and we can expect the variables which we set over here. So this concludes the setup for Linux.